Hey, what's up, guys? It's me, Tato, back again with the recipes that make you want to cook. On today's video, we are making pizza from scratch in three different flavors. Let's get started guys and as usual I will leave all the ingredients in the description box down below. In my big bowl I have two and a half cups of warm water and I added a quarter cup of sugar and I'm adding one packet of yeast. Then we're gonna put that to the side and let it bubble for like a minute or two. Just like that it's fine don't let it over bubble. Then I'm gonna add a quarter cup of oil and two teaspoons of salt with six cups of flour now I'm gonna add my salt into my flour and mix that together and then we're gonna create our pizza dough okay now we're gonna mix everything together and knead our dough to let the gluten um, develop and then we're gonna Put it in a warm area to let it rise now this time you don't have to put it in the microwave to um, let it rise unless if you have all your other ingredients ready then you can do that but for me i started with the dough so while i get the other ingredients ready then it will be rising by the time i'm done it will be fine unless if you prepared the ingredients first and you made your dough then you can put it you, you can put your microwave for one minute nothing in it so that it can get warm then put your bowl in the microwave 20 to 30 minutes your dough will be fine now I'm gonna mix that in And then I'm gonna knead my dough until my bowl is squeaky clean. That takes about five to six minutes and you know your dough is ready. Now I'm gonna smear some oil on it as well as on the bowl and the lid. Then I'm gonna close my bowl and let the yeast, I mean <laughs> the dough rise on top of the counter. I didn't put it outside in the sun, I just let it rise on top of the counter. It was a warm day so um, it was no hassle Now we're gonna start assembling our flavors. I'm gonna start with the beef one guys I don't have names for these pizzas. They're just flavors i had some um, beef shoe beef that i cut into strips and to that i'm gonna add some oregano paprika any spice that you want i added lamb spice from exotic and some brown sugar i also cut up some onion so we're just gonna add everything into the beef marinate it for a little bit and then we're gonna uh, cook it in the oven you can also fry it if you don't want to do it in the oven but I just like okay today we're gonna do everything in the oven and I was kind of lazy to fry it so I just put it in the oven and forgot about it for a minute we're gonna put in in the onions the onions are optional but I love them because we're also gonna add some barbecue sauce so when the, the caramelized onions hit that barbecue sauce oh it's so good guys but onions are optional if you don't like them you can leave them out now that's how it looks I'm gonna let it marinate for about 15 to 20 minutes and then I'm gonna take my tray that I lined up with some foil and I'm gonna put my meat and it's gonna go into the oven okay so here's how it looks after the oven about after about 15 minutes about 8 to 15 minutes yes and then i'm just gonna put some barbecue sauce in it and then i'm gonna mix it around and i'm gonna put it back into the oven for another 8 to 10 minutes and it will be done 
I'm gonna drizzle a little bit of salt remember we didn't add any salt into our spices so I just added a little bit of salt there not a lot I'm gonna cover it with some foil and put it back into the oven and yeah it's ready guys it's ready please don't let it dry out just cook it until it's done unless um, so if you let it sit into the oven for a longer time it's gonna go dry and you know beef guys beef is so dry so we don't want it to dry we just want it to be sticky and juicy now we're gonna assemble our pizza guys we have our dough that I just uh, portioned out into my pan you can use whatever pan that you have and I'm gonna take a fork and poke some holes into the dough this is just to prevent the dough from rising we don't want to make bread we want a relatively thin crust on the pizza unless if you like um, bread style pizza just like the one at that other pizza place <laughs> yes I'm just gonna spear some sweet chili sauce on as a base you can use tomato guys I don't like tomato as a base so if I'm making my own pizza at home I opt for other bases because it's tomato no it's just not it uh, even when I buy pizza sometimes at those pizza places I ask please can we change the base maybe to a minus base because the tomatoes can be very very acidic so yeah. pizza with mushrooms and we're gonna put in our beef and some cheese this is a mixture of mozzarella cheese and white cheddar cheese you can use any other cheese you want but mozzarella and use the she honey <laughs> so use whatever cheese you want but I recommend mozzarella because it is responsible for that elasticity on pizza and there it is guys I'm gonna put it in the oven until it's golden brown and there you go guys i don't have any name for these pizzas but feel free to comment down below and give these pizzas a name i just came up with ideas with what i had i was like okay let's do this and that how it look i didn't add a lot of cheese guys you can add as much as cheese as you want as you can see it's not that elastic but it is super yummy Okay, now we're gonna get started with our next pizza and we're gonna do the same on the dough and this pizza is loaded guys, it is a veggie pizza, it is loaded. Now for this time I'm gonna use my sun dried tomato pesto as a base, remember the last time that I made um, the lasagna style pasta bake, I used the pesto as a flavoring into my meat sauce, so if you wanna check that video out, I'll leave it in the cards. And I'm looking down below so this is what I had left so I was I thought that I should use it as a base uh, it's not as sour as normal tomatoes or those tomato sauce but it's so delicious it's packed of flavor and herbs and spices so I'm gonna use it as a base then I have some green pepper some onions some red pepper I have some mushrooms I have tomato I have Feta cheese. It is a loaded pizza, guys. I'm gonna lay down some onions and then some mushrooms, and then I'm gonna go with some peppers and the feta cheese. Don't put the tomatoes at the bottom, otherwise, they will make your dough um, a little bit soggy. Then your crust will be soggy instead of crispy. So, the tomatoes, we leave them to put it at the end. Uh, on top of the pizza so that the water doesn't drip what thing you can do is also take out the seeds from your take out the seeds from your tomatoes so that um, you, you can have a little bit of control over it in terms of the juices that come out of the tomato so I'm gonna go in with my feta cheese it had to have some kind of cheese not one not two but three kinds of cheese because we do have a blend of our mozzarella cheese and our cheddar cheese so yeah then i'm gonna go with my red peppers and then we're gonna go in with the, the cheese and the tomatoes would be the last thing that we add on the pizza it is a quite packed pizza and i love it guys the more the merrier 
and if you're still watching at this time thank you so much guys thank you thank you thank you for the love please if you haven't subscribed already please subscribe and join the family comment down below if you're gonna try any of these flavors i swear you will not regret it give the video a thumbs up if you like these pizzas and yeah and i'm gonna go with my cheeses and the tomatoes and then it's gonna go in the oven for a while until the cheese is um, golden brown it's melted and all sorts of yumminess i didn't put in a timer guys i just kept checking it until the cheese is fine because nothing has to cook here we just want the cheese to melt and the dough to become crispy so i say give about if you want some time i'd say give about 20 to 25 minutes uh, or you can even stretch it up to 30 minutes because ovens are cooked the same so yours might take quicker mine might take longer yeah so that how it looks I just garnish it with some um, micro herbs so that it looks nice and pretty <laughs> let's cut into it and see guys it's the crust for me honey it is the crust for me trust it's thin it's yummy it's moist it's everything and there you go it's the crust for me look at that it's the crust for me Okay, so we're gonna get started with our third and final pizza. This one, I have my spare rib sauce as a base. This is a pork um, pizza, so I just found it right to use a spare rib base. So this time I'm adding some chopped up ham and then I'm gonna add some bacon. That's it, and we're done. Goodbye, I'll see you in the next time. <laughs> Yeah, so this a lot of pork, guys. If you don't like pork, uh, then I, I don't know, but anything pork goes well in pizza. So I'm gonna add my cheese and then I'm gonna put my bacon on top. And if you've still watched till this time, guys, give yourself some extra cheese. You deserve it. You are a real one. You deserve some extra cheese. Put on that extra cheese. <laughs> okay, now we're gonna go with our bacon and then we're gonna put it in the oven for a while. Forget about it. And yeah, we're done. I did make these pizzas in one day, guys. And yeah flavorful flavorful contrast of flavors um what i like is that i used a different kinds of bases on each pizza so it's interesting to see how many flavors can come together that you didn't even think about so yeah guys please try them out also become spontaneous in the kitchen when you're making your pizzas you can add absolutely whatever you want it's your pizza you know you have that freedom to add absolutely any ingredient that you think can go on pizza put it on pizza honey and there you go and we're done guys i hope you enjoyed these recipes i hope you try them comment down below if you're gonna try them please give this video a thumbs up subscribe if you haven't already and join the family and i'll see you on the next one